On the face of it, this is simply a football session, but beneath that, it's more than just a kickabout. The programme these children are part of in Rochdale is socially prescribed, meaning it's an activity to boost their well-being. The scheme is part of a campaign called Play Their Way. It's meant to be child-centred, focusing on their needs, experiences and feelings, something its organisers say is making a difference. As much as these sessions are about being active, they're about building confidence, meeting new people, and almost kind of listening to that young person and what they want to do and why they haven't done things before and how we can help them kind of make that step onto the next journey. It's the best job in the world. Sessions like this aren't just fun. They have a purpose, helping to ease the pressure on vital services in the midst of a children's mental health crisis. Between 2022 and 2023, 32% of children and young people referred to mental health services received support. 28% were still waiting for support from mental health services, while 39% had their referrals closed before accessing help. The children's charity Bernardo says social prescribing does help as early intervention, but needs to sit alongside support from places like schools and communities. People at the moment do not have a kind of consistent offer depending on on what they need. So there's there's very little in terms of that prevention and early intervention support that we discussed. And social prescribing absolutely can be part of the answer to that. But it needs to sit in a wider pathway of support. So we believe that there should be a national strategy for social prescribing in children and young people. Here in Rochdale, simple joys like movement and making friends are helping this group. Robin was once highly anxious. She's now grown in leaps and bounds a change her mum is grateful for. She'd started off like with massive anxieties, um, potential ADHD for just being so bouncy or overwhelmed and then angry, but then ecstatically happy. Um, now it's like she knows when to, how to process a feeling. She's a lot more calmer, more approachable with other people as well, because at one point that weren't a thing that could happen. Solutions to the wider problem are not straightforward. But ideas like this can be timely interventions to help young people before they need to rely on a system under pressure. Shingi Marike, Sky News, Rochdale.